morning. Good morning. morning guys and welcome to another vlog so it is a public holiday today and we are going to go to this a freedom day market so i thought i would vlog and take you with me um i still have not done an apartment tour because everything is not where it's supposed to be <laughs> but i am in um, I've been in for about three weeks now, four week, going on four weeks now, um, and absolutely loving it. But I just want everything in its place, and I just need to get a few more things before I do a tour for you. So today is just going to be a um, freedom day, come vlog with us, come with us, whatever day. Um, I can show you over here what I mean by, okay, I am unpacking everything because... I need to make space and cupboard for certain things, people and all that. Um, but this is what my beauty room floor looks like at the moment. Um, and that's what my beauty room desks looks like at the moment. So I'm not going to do a tour for you just yet. And I see one of those frames is upside down. Um, but yeah, I just had a shower, washed my hair, um, did a bit of makeup. And um, I'm going to just put my shoes on and a jersey on. And then I'm going to head out to... Whoop, to my parents and we're gonna go to a market so I will see you there okay so before we go let's just do an outfit check this is my outfit of the day these are from mr. price and so is this I'm a mr. price junkie as you know these um were from a a project um, there was also a jacket but I didn't get them they're just like baggy jeans and the bed's not made yes and um, yeah these are my my pick and pay, they're actually a bit light. I'm a bit worried, maybe I should put on some some other sneakers because I'm worried in this market it could be a bit like dusty and stuff and these are suede. But anyway, let me go and see what I'm going to do about that and then let's get going. later it is Saturday now and I've just filmed this makeup look for a new series that I'm doing all the light for a new series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel so don't forget to check that out um, I just had my gardener here today and he just helped me um, sort out this garden a little bit and now I'm gonna head yeah I need a picture in there I know and there and there and there and there we're getting there now i'm going to quickly head to santon because i want to go and do some shopping get a mother's day present i am going to go with a full face of makeup because it is already half past two and i'm not going to wash it off and put more on to go shop so i'm just going to go like this so what um so yeah come with me shopping and see what i get and see what's new i've also got a mr price voucher that i've seen some pants that i like but i'm not a hundred percent sure so let's head off to santon and see what we get so this brown hoodie is super cool um it's like an oversized hoodie i'm at mr price and i just think it's so I don't know, it looks so awesome. It feels so awesome as well. 
So this one is on sale, but it's very, very orange. I see in this, and it's very, very big. So I think I'm going to leave this one behind. It looks like a bit of orange. I don't know, it looks like cheer, cheerleader. These are so nice. But I just don't know. So guys, I just got back from the shop. And I thought I'd show you what I bought. I am not feeling so well. I just took all my makeup off. Um, so just excuse what I look like. But I'm going to show you what I bought. I'll be sleeping already. Uh, okay, guys, just excuse what I look like, but I'm having like a start of a migraine. But I wanted to share with you what I bought from Mr. Price. This clip is not helping either. Oh, okay. So my sister and her boyfriend's dog is turning one next week saturday so i bought he's a sausage dog so i bought him this little hot dog suit <laughs> from mr price it was 129 rand and his birthday is hot dogs you know if you know us we have birthdays for our dogs so yeah um so i bought him this little suit he's probably gonna hate it because he hates outfits anyway I bought this, um, it's the Oversize Everyday Basics. This is the sweatshirt. Um, it's very big <laughs> and very cozy. It's in the shade Tobacco. I'm just loving these nudie colors at the moment. Um, and it was 159 Rand 99 and it feels so soft. I'm actually going to my cousin's tonight for dinner. So we're just getting pizzas. So I think that I'll wear it then. And then I have this top in the beige, uh, or the cream, I think you've seen me wear it before. It's a jersey, but it's a crop jersey. And I like it because I have those high-waisted pants. And then because I've got smaller up here and bigger down here, I really look like a hot mess, but anyway. Bigger down here, um, it's always nice to wear it so that I don't look like a block. Um, and I always get it a little bit bigger because... It needs to be baggy so I can wear a long sleeve shirt underneath. And this was mm, 99 Rand 99. Sorry, it looks 66 in the viewfinder. Um, and then, I don't know if anyone would know or has noticed, but I have an obsession with bees at the moment, okay? Even my mat for my front door is bees. So this is a necklace that you're supposed to give like your bestie or whatever. But I mean, I'm not going to do that. I just want... The, this necklace, well, I like the gold, but then I've also got it in the silver, so I can just wear it either with whatever I'm wearing. And this was 49 Rand 99. And then, um, for those of you that don't know, I am a teacher, and we are always carrying our life on our backs when we go to teach, um, well, when we go to school. So I saw this bag and I thought it would be great because there's it's huge, I mean, you can see it's about as big as me. But it's going to be able to fit my laptop in it. So there, it's quite big. It would be nice for hand luggage as well if you go away. But I'm going to put my laptop, my laptops in a college Heyman case. So I can put that in here and then not have to take a handbag to school. Because then it's got this little um, compartment here that opens up. So I can put my wallet. It's quite big actually. Put my wallet and whatever in there. And then it's also got this um, little pouch thingy um, and it's got so much space inside so I can put books and whatever and it's also got like a little pocket inside um, so I decided to get that and that was 149 Rand um, 99 and then I purchased this bag the other day not today the other day and I wanted to show you and um, let me just quickly get it Okay, so this one is also from Mr. Price. It's also got this little thing here, but it's got two things and a strap. And the strap is so pretty. It says um, Radiate Love. And it's obviously a, a side bag. So, um, yeah, I'm just loving it. I can't remember how much that was. I'll look for it and put it on the screen. I'm going to go and lie down for five minutes and then put some makeup on my face and get a bit decent and go to my cousin. So I will see you a little bit later. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit better than the last time you saw me. I had to lie down. I've got my oversized hoodie on. And we're going to go to my cousin and has, have some pizza. 
Um, I'll show you this tomorrow. The lighting right now, because it's it's dark outside, is quite bad. So I'll show you this um, hoodie in the morning. But it's super comfy and it's super warm. And it just feels nice. I think I need another color. Morning guys. So this vlog is literally all over the show. It's not even funny. And I have been so... Where the hell can I put you? So um, busy doing things around and getting organized for people that are coming and all of that that it's like all over the show. So last night we went to, or yesterday we went to my sister and her boyfriend Nate for um, a braai and um, I didn't film anything because um, I left my handbag at home put my phone in the back pocket of my jeans and off I went and it was obviously in there so I'm doing so well at vlogging it's like it's not even funny you know um but yeah today is Monday it's a public holiday and I am going to meet um the girls that I work with for a coffee and to pick up some stuff um it's already half past two so it's just gonna be a quick um, little like date thing and I have done nothing all day I literally just got dressed and that's why I'm doing my makeup now but I will take you along with me um, where I'm going to get the stuff and all of that is a beautiful like a plot area so I can video some of that for you it's called Blamford Manor um, guys, you won't actually believe it. I have gone back to using this LA Girl Nudes palette. I found it in the move, and I remember how obsessed I was with it um, when it first came out. I've got all the colors that you can get. The neon, the purple, the gray, even the face palettes. Um, and I remember how obsessed I was with it. So I thought let me start trying it out and I've used it for like three days flat so it's still a really really good palette that I'll give you or that I'll tell you um, and yeah I still need to do a tour for you of this house but everything is not where it should be and also I'm trying to get the lighting right for my filming and the noise and all of that it's like still so echoey and I don't know why um, but yeah I thought I'll start another vlog after this one and do what I eat like not in a week not in a day but like so I've got to go back to the dietitian on Friday the 13th and I've got to be really strict this week and next week because of Easter and all of that I've just been off the wagon um, so I've got to be really strict and a lot of people, sorry, a lot of people have asked me like about my weight loss journey because I've lost 10 kilos and I've got four more to go, um, till I reach my happy weight. Um, so a lot of people have asked me like what's the journey about whatever and anyway I did a, the DNA analysis that's what I'm doing my entire family's done it everybody's lost weight it's amazing so I'm gonna either link the dietitian that I go through details down below or in the next vlog where I do what I eat I'm obviously not going to give away her expertise because that's the whole point of going there um, and yeah you guys need to go and check her out she's absolutely amazing i mean my original consultation with her was in i'm just going to move you guys to my room because i need to hurry this up my um original consultation with her was in 2017 and i lost sorry i'm cutting you off here and i lost 13 kilos I think no 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 I'm lying I lost 10 kilos sorry now I want to lose 13 I lost 10 kilos last time and then uh, obviously just being unhappy in life and situations and living situations and all of that
picked it up again and I never stuck to the maintenance plan and yeah a whole lot of other things so I went back to her again last year no this year last year whenever it was and I've decided to take a slow like a slow journey back into losing weight and I did it too fast last time and that's apparently why I also or one of the reasons why I also put on the weight is because I did it very fast I think I lost 13 kilos in six months I think or seven months Ugh, not 13 10 um, and it was apparently too quick so we're now trying the 80 20 route which has worked so much better for me. Anyway, my cousins go to her, my aunt goes to her, my sister's been to her, my dad goes to her, my cousins go to her, and I say my cousins, all four of them, five of them have gone to her. So she is like, we all swear by her, she's amazing. Um, she's in four ways and in Woodmead, so if anyone is interested. Um... And yeah, so I don't know if you guys will be interested in it. I'm not obviously, like I said, just now going to give away her expertise, but just an idea of what I eat and to show you that clean, you know, clean eating is not, doesn't have to be boring or difficult or horrible or tasteless. Um, her meals are like amazing. Oh, I've got hiccups since I drank that Coke. Um, so yeah, let me quickly get ready and then we're going to go to Blamford. I want to show you the beautiful scenery and I'll check you on the flip side. Guys, I literally think I could get the prize for the most dirtiest car. Oh my word. Since moving, it is just, it doesn't end. And like, everything is just like, I don't know, like, full of nonsense and bags and boxes and... Anyway, let's head off. I haven't worn these glasses forever, they feel weird. Let's head off to... Oh, do I don't have my phone. I do. Let's head off. Hi guys! So this vlog has been all over the show. Um, I just got home and I just thought that I would show you I got a little package which I'm super excited about so I ordered this off House of Cosmetics because I wanted to try this since I saw it being launched sorry my hand is so sore Hop is barking at the neighbors come 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 show them how naughty you are um, so I picked up the Hydro Hero 24 Hour Hydrating Tinted Cream because I cannot find a BB cream anywhere. The amazing Garnier one that I had, they no longer um, make. So I got this one in the shade 10 Soft Nude. The only thing about this is it comes only in three colors. Shh! She wants the people next door have moved something now. She wants to go there. Uh-uh. So I picked up this, so look out for the review. And then I needed a primer so badly. So I got this, this is also a new one. It's the all-in-one face cream magic. Um, healthy looking skin in seconds. Oh my word guys, I thought this was a primer. is a 
skin tone adapting sheer coverage hydration perfect tint and has a blurring effect it says all in one face cream magically creates a refreshed looking finish the texture includes pigments that adapt to any skin tone with the sheer coverage the cream with SPF 10 is hydrating and the light tint gives an even skin finish. I thought this was a primer. But it could be like a tinted skin cream as well. So I'm super keen to try this. And then as always, House of Cosmetics, which is the holding company or the company that holds Catrice, Essence, Love, Caribbean Tan, and there's some others. Um, they always give a free gift when you order something. So I got the Catrice Dewy Wet Look Stick. I actually think I have this, but I'm not too sure. So tomorrow, I'm going to film a review on all of these products. So stay tuned. But I am going to call it a night. I'm going to put on a movie. Um, actually, I should go and wash my face first. Put on a movie and then... Yeah. I'll see you guys in the morrow. Hello guys, happy Mother's Day. So today is Mother's Day. I'm just getting ready and then I'm going to go up to my mom. Um, we are going to a place called The Local Kitchen today. So I'm going to take you with. And um, yeah, let me show you my outfit for today quickly. It's quite cold here in Joburg and we are sitting outside. Okay, so I decided to go all black today. I don't know why. But I got this top from Mr. Price. It's like a little peplum, like almost a scuba thing. And it comes with the pants. But I just didn't know what shoes I would wear with the pants. And then I've got my sheen earrings on. And then just black jeans and my black boots. And then just um, some nomination and Thomas Saba jewelry on. And I've done a very, I've done a very natural makeup look I just actually need to go and fix this new product that keeps messing here and this is what my bed looks like don't even ask me it is a nightmare but I'm gonna go off to my mom now and then we're gonna go for lunch That's probably I haven't told you. But, um, are you lovely? She should have been a Say hi. Outside left. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, guys. So, it's a few days later, and as you can see, I look wonderful. Um, I'm actually on my way to go and get a COVID test. I've got the worst flu, and I feel terrible. I don't think it's COVID, but I have to go as protocol for school. So I just quickly put some BB cream on and um, some eyebrows and a little bit of mascara and we're going to head out, I'm going to head out now and go and get a wonderful test. I can't freaking wait. guys so it's a few days later um i have bronchitis um like on my fifth day i just want to that nebulizer makes water run down my face um i'm on my fifth day fourth day when did i go choose tuesday fourth day um, at least my voice is back. I can talk now. I can breathe a bit better, but I'm still not a hundred percent I've been off work the whole week. This camera is shaking because this medicine from the nebulizer makes me shake um, I'm gonna put you here It's the weirdest thing, but they say it's the cortisone and the stimulants um, But I'm fine not COVID thank goodness. Well the test came back negative. So hopefully it's right, but I look like Drek. So um, I've been at home for four days, and um, yeah, let's just hope that this antibiotic works and all this medicine works. Um, it's not fun at all. 
mm, that nebulizer's got like makes stuff drip down the back of my throat or maybe that's just a sickness I don't know um but yeah I am gonna go back to my parents house now so um just to be there a bit and so I'm not gonna vlog I'm gonna pick this up when I'm better again so I became very optimistic and thought that I would finish this vlog later, but I became so sick that um, it was still a few days until I could vlog again. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll check in with you again in the next one. Bye guys.